So now we're going to start to get into the user class and um, particularly I want to get into the registration form. Okay, so if we click create an account, it takes us to uh, our register form which takes name, email address, um, username, password, avatar, and then just a, a small about me uh, text area. Now, uh, first off, the reason that this is happening over here is because we need a topic object uh, in order to for our categories to display correctly. So if we go to our register.php file, not the template, but in the controller in the root directory, um, we're just going to create a topic object just so that we can use the sidebar. Um, actually, what am I doing? We're gonna so we'll just say topic equals new topic. All right, so that fixes that. So um, we are going to have a, a very small validation class so that people can't, for instance, leave fields blank. Um, but I want to get the actual registration process um, complete before we add validation to it. Uh, so basically, I want to be able to just add in our information and have it go to our users table in our database. All right, so. A good majority of the code in this video will be for uh, the avatar, for uploading the avatar, because we want to make sure that we ch we do some um, validation on that um, in terms of of what extensions can be used, so JPEG, uh, PNG, things like that. So let's do that first. Uh, so I'm going to go to the user class, and I I'm just going to um, paste in some code here. I'm going to paste in our method to upload the avatar. I'm sorry, we need to create the class first. Class user. All right, so we have a function called upload avatar. Basically, we're going to have an array of extensions that are allowed. All right, so all the image extensions, um, and then we're basically gonna um, we're going to explode the the file name, and basically um, we want to get it by the dot, uh, and since it's a it's a dot JPEG or dot PNG, we can actually grab that with the end function. We can grab the last section and then put it into an extension variable. All right, and then down here we're just saying uh, we're checking the types here, making sure that they're valid. Uh, here we we're, we want the image to be less than uh, two megabytes, and let's see what else are we doing. Um, if there's an error, then we're just going to redirect to register.php um, along with the error message. Now this redirect right here, this is going to be a custom function that we create. This isn't part of um, the, the, any kind of framework or anything like that. Um, so we're just going to create that. We'll do that in a second. Uh, and then down here, basically we're saying uh, we want to move the file. So we're using this the PHP function move uploaded file. This is a PHP function. It's not something that we we're going to define. And basically we just want to we want to uh, put in there where we want the file to go. In this case, it's going to be images and then in the avatars folder. All right, and we're going to return true. Okay, if everything goes well, we're, we'll return true. If not, then we're going to redirect with an error. All right, so let's go ahead and create that redirect. That's actually going to be in our system helper. So if we go to helpers and then system helper, and I'm just going to paste this in. All right, so it's a function called redirect. Uh, it takes three parameters. One is the page that we want to redirect to. Uh, next is, an, is a message that we want to send. And the way that we're going to send it is through a session. Okay, we're going to create a, a session variable for our message. 
and also a message type. Uh, so we could use error or um, success if we want it to be, be uh, maybe green or an error would be red so we can format it nicely. Um, so basically here we're just going to say um, if page is a string then we're going to then location will equal page. Uh, if it's not then um, then it's going to assign the current page basically to location. All right. So basically, if we don't if we don't include a page like maybe register.php or whatever, then it's going to use the current page. All right. That's a better explanation. And then down here we're saying if the message is not null, so if we include a message, uh, then it's going to set that to session message. All right. And then we can access that from literally any page. And then down here, we're do, doing the same thing, except we're che checking for a type. And we're going to put that inside of this session variable. And then we're just going to use the header function to redirect to our location. All right, so very simple function. Uh, make sure you save that. All right, so let's get back to our registration. Um, so, so far, we have the upload avatar method in our class. Uh, what I want to do now is just go to the register.php file. So this is basically going to be the, the page that we submit the registration form to. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here and we're going to check to see if the form's been submitted. All right, and we can do that with using post. We'll say if post register. Okay, uh, actually we want to check if it's set. So is set post register. And this register, where this is coming from is in our form, our input, our, sorry, our submit button has the name register. So we're checking to see if the submit button was clicked. All right, and then if it was, uh, basically we want to grab all the fields that were submitted into the post array. All right, so I'm going to paste this in and basically what we're doing here is just getting all the post data and putting it into this data array that we create. All right, so we get the, the name, the email, username, and right here we're going to encrypt the password with MD5. All right, so all you need to do is use this MD5 function and surround the, the password and the um, password confirmation field. All right, then we get the, our about text and then for last activity, we're just setting that to the current date and time. All right, um, so that's pretty much it for our variable, for our post variables. Next, we want to handle our uh, avatar uploading. All right, so I'm just going to paste this in. And basically, we're saying if the uh, upload avatar method is true, then we're just going to define, we're basically going to put the file name coming from the files array into our data array. And if it's not, if the the avatar did not get uploaded, then we're just going to include, we're just going to um, set it to no image.png. That way we can have a standard image uh, for people that, that don't upload their avatars. All right. So I basically just want to test this now just to make sure that we can upload an avatar. So I'm going to save that and let's just see what happens. I'm just going to type in anything. We don't need any validation. This, however, should be an email address because it's set to the, the input type of email. Uh, and then for an image, uh, let's see. I'll take this sample one. I don't even know what it is. And register. All right, so undefined variable user on line 19. And then we have call to member function upload avatar. Um, okay, so, oh, we didn't instantiate the user object, so we need to do that. So this will be new user, and this will be user. Okay. Class user not found. Oh, we didn't have the, the user 
class saved. All right. So email, make sure that that's an email. And this can be anything. Um, all right, so let's just check and see if it actually uploaded. It's supposed to go to images, avatars, and it did not. So I want to uh, be able to see some kind of error. And um, what it's doing is redirecting because that's what we, we told it to do if something's wrong. Um, but we need to catch our messages. Okay, so it's redirecting here to register uh, and we're sending a message, but we're not, we have nothing to output it. Um, the session, the message should be stored in the session, so we should be able to access it. So what I'm going to do is go to our header include file in our templates folder. And I just want a, a, an area where we can display messages. All right, and I want it to be basically right above the main content. So at the bottom of the header file. And I want to create a helper function to aid us in displaying um, session uh, messages. So I'm going to go back to system helper and under the redirect function I'm going to paste in the display message function and basically it's just going to check to see if the message variable if the session message is set uh, or if it's not empty if it's if it's set or or not empty then we're going to go ahead and um, assign it to this variable and then we're going to check to see if there's a message type alright so if the message type is error then it's gonna just uh, output the message with the bootstrap alert danger class to make it red uh, if it's not if it doesn't have the type of error and it's if it's anything else it's gonna have the success which will make it green all right, and then after we display the message, we want to make sure that we unset those messages. All right, so let's save that and then go back to header. And all we have to do is call that function display message. All right, so let's save that and let's see if we get anything. All right, so we're getting invalid file type. So if we go back to user. So if we check the, the if statement here, um, we know the file type is JPEG. Uh, I think what's going on is it's it's um, less than than two kilobytes. Uh, I'm just gonna increase this to five. All right, and then that should work. So let's go type in an, an email address. Choose that image file register okay so we didn't get an error so let's go ahead and check to see um, if the file was actually uploaded so it should be in talking space images avatars alright so there it is so we know that the file is uploading so now we can focus on the rest of the um, registration so let's go back to register.php. All right, so uh, like I said, we're not going to do all the validation in this video. We'll do that in the next. I just want to get make it so that we can insert the data into the database. So um, let's see, under our upload block there, I'm going to paste in another block of code. Okay, let me just align this correctly. All right, so basically um, we're gonna call the register method in the user class. Uh, we're gonna pass it the data array, which holds all of this. And if it's true, then we're gonna redirect to our index page with um, a message that we can log in. If not, then it's just going to redirect us and say something went wrong. All right, so save that and then go into our user class. And basically, we want to create our uh, register method. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. And we will go over it. All right, so 
first thing, uh, we're going to create our query. We're going to use the database class, this DB query. And the query is going to say insert into users. And these are the, the, the fields that we want to fill. So name, email, avatar, username, password, about, and last activity. Uh, and then we're basically going to use prepared statements. We're saying values. And then we're going to put these placeholders in. Okay, so basically the same, the same text as the actual field along with a colon in front of it. And then down here we're going to bind those. Okay, so we use this DB bind for each field that we want to insert. All right, and then we're going to put the value, which of course is coming from our data array that we pass in through here. All right, so it's going to bind all those values and then it's going to execute it. All right, and by execute, I mean it's going to place it inside of our database. And if it, everything goes okay, we're going to return true. All right, and that's why we have um, if register, if user register. All right, so it's going to return true. If, it, if everything goes okay, then we'll get this. If not, then we'll get an error message. So let's go ahead and save this and give this a shot. Okay, so create account. Uh, we'll say Stephen Stephen Wright, and his email will be s right at yahoo.com. Uh, we'll call him s right and password. Um, avatar, let me just grab something here. Sample. God, I hate Yahoo. All right. So let's just get this, I guess, this Apple's picture. We'll save that. And we'll use that as Steven's avatar. And we will click register. All right, so undefined property user DB. Okay, so I know what that means. Uh, we didn't define a DB object in our class. So let's go to user. And uh, if you remember with our other classes, let me just show you um, topic. We defined a DB as a, a class property. So we got to do that. I don't know why I forgot to do that. And then also we need to instantiate it inside of the constructor. So we'll copy that. And that should allow us to use the database object. So let's go ahead and try that again. Okay. And register. All right, so it looks like it worked out. It says you are registered. You can now log in. So let's just double check, make sure that that Stevens here. All right. So the users table. You can see you have Stephen Wright, his email, avatar, uh, username, and now you can see the password is now encrypted because we used that MD5 function. So you definitely want to do that. You do not want to store passwords like this. All right. So what I'm going to do is actually just copy this and use the same password for everybody which is just one two three four five all right um, we didn't fill in an about field last activity you can see is is um, the date and time of the registration uh, which is the same as the join date but you can update this as you add more functions. All right, so let's say the user posts a topic, you can update this, this date um, in the PHP. All right, so that's what I wanted to do in this video is just make it so we can actually add a user. Um, in the next video, we will implement a, a really, really simple validation class.